everyone, Nia the Trader here, and today I'm going to talk about term structure and how to understand it, how to use it for your advantage when you're trading, and of course, how to understand traders' activity, gauge sentiment, and predict the market movement or um, individual stock movement. So let's quickly look at our scanner. If you're in our Discord trading mindset and data, this is what we share with you every single day. Uh, if you're not, then this is how it looks like. Uh, it helps traders in our group to find stocks that are going to move a lot. So what is the term structure shift? It's a concept that we developed where we are looking at the change of open interest and uh, option expiration uh, in one month, three months, and one year, right? So changing an open interest on a certain uh, strike of an option. So in this case, you see one month, three months, and one year in the right corner. If all of them align, or at least two of them, it's great. It's good to see that, okay, I'm in this stock for a long term. There is increase in open interest on a certain strike. You can look at the option chain and see where where which strike has, has high open interest. You can see um, where the institutions are betting, right? And this is usually big money. It's usually smart money institutional traders. It's usually not a retail. If it's this kind of sizing that actually moves the open interest and uh, change. So, for example, in this case, you can see HIMS, all right? HIMS has a huge change in, uh, in interest. You have uh, TGX, so it's AUR. Then you have Moderna. Moderna makes also sense to me because, look, it's down so badly from the all-time high. So now suddenly it starts blinking. There's change in open interest. There is uh, a huge volume, which we also record on the scanner. You can see it right here. It had earnings. And it means that the stock might change course, right? So one year, three months, and, um, and one month is bullish. All right. So always look at the scanner and look at the technical chart, guys. You don't just... YOLO into something. Never do that. Even if you have option flow, someone post option flow, do not do that because these are not always right. You need to look at the technical chart, see where is liquid support and resistance. You can use point of control. You can use other indicators and see. And then based on that, you kind of create a trading plan, right? We are just giving you another tool to help you understand what's happening with the market, see what the big money is going and where it all is happening. So also, you can uh, pay attention to implied volatility because since in, we have an increase in implied volatility, it often signals that the traders are expecting either trend change or the trend continuation, right? So if there is uh, more buying on puts or calls, that means that there is uh, there, that the trend is going to continue or, or change, of course, if it's going long and suddenly we see a huge put buying. But uh, implied volatility is usually increased when there is a lot of buying uh, going on all right sorry is it disconnected we connect the game whatever so here is just an example of hymns of hymns uh, i don't know if you're in this talk but this talk just went absolutely crazy so um, let's say we observe bullish term structure in hymns and accompany it with a strong increase in open interest and bullish signal extending into one year it's a very good sign if you're in this stock a lot of uh, traders in our groups are long in in, in hymns the price action remains bullish, as you can see. And given these conditions, we might expect a little bit of consolidation or continuation, right? Up to the level C65, because that's where was a huge change of open interest. You can see it right here. Uh, after 65, there is pretty much not much interest. So that will be the next stop on this until the further notice, right? You have to always pay attention and, and, and manage your trades. All right, so by integrating the term structure into your trading strategy, you just have more, more probabilities to make money. That's pretty much it. Um, it's all about informed decisions. If you want to learn more, join our group. It's called tradingmindsetanddata.com. If you're in our group, I hope you're doing well. If you have any questions, ask Leah, me or Alessio, and we wish you a great day. Bye.